everyone. Yeah, head cut curl. Sorry. Yeah, it's good. Going good. So far, so good. Yeah. No, I think you are from Suriname, but I, I don't know. Now the time is 11.06 and uh, it's gonna be start again. There was a pause for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, now everybody is coming and they are joining again. So actually 9, uh, 9.45 I started. You will get a link and you have to click and you will, um, it's on Zoom, Zoom call. So now everybody is coming so I'm gonna join again and I will tell you everything about later. So now it's 12 o'clock and we have lunch time. Uh, as I told you I logged in 9.45 and everybody was there so it started quickly and early so and then uh, we had so I don't know why I have to check again and again I'm on mute or not <laughs> okay so yeah as I told you there is uh, one trainer who is giving uh, training and another one is assistant basically she is noting down everything so yeah we are halfway done um, but you have to be on camera all the time and it's very interactive session like uh, they are we are discussing we are um, uh, also the question answer session just like I am telling something about Netherlands or uh, anything something like uh, I noted down some points uh, just like uh, Dutch fundamental freedom equality democracy uh, Dutch core value and uh, and also freedom of speech, freedom of religion, uh, gender equality, freedom of education, freedom of protest. So it's all about Netherlands, but it's not like uh, uh, they are talking about only here in Netherlands. Uh, it's more like uh, all over country, world, how things in your country so you can give your opinion it's not like she is uh, trying to put a, like a picture perfect like a country uh, a, uh, as a country in netherlands but she is also talking about flaws uh, every country has some uh, you know good thing and also mm, some flaws yeah and your opinions also matter so you can unmute and um, tell your opinions what do you think about it uh, what could be solution uh, it's not like you have to just listen 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 you can also raise your points raise your voice so we are all halfway done uh, it's 12 o'clock and we have lunch pause for one hour and then um, hopefully uh, three o'clock we will be done and, and what else i should tell okay maybe i can also give some more important points just like um, now this is online uh, i don't know about previously but now it's online because of corona so uh, i can uh, give some overview uh, like uh, sign up for one day workshop participation statement i have a link uh, if you want i can uh, leave in the description box so you may check out and, um, and this workshop is only offered online for the time the participation declaration pv is mandatory part of integration so it's mandatory when you are um, uh, applying for a passport or maybe your spouse has already applied or in the process or or got the passport so the dependent person has to uh, do this one the in my understanding uh, and use this form to register for the one day PV workshop 
uh, at the Dutch counseling and after registration you will receive a email confirmation and uh, before few days uh, of uh, workshop you will get login details and all and uh, for this you need a, a computer not tablet or phone and also the time is 10 o'clock to 3 30 and uh, you can check the cost condition and then you can schedule uh, sign up for this workshop and uh, yeah this workshop is given alternately in uh, English and Dutch so I would suggest whatever is your um, is comfortable language suppose you are in comfortable in Dutch or English make sure you join in that because the main thing is to understand you have to understand um, the all the all the points they are talking about this Dutch society so you have to understand and you also have to answer and uh, um, your opinion also matters so I would suggest please choose wisely it's not like a, uh, the Dutch uh, workshop is coming soon so I can do it now I would suggest please whatever is your comfortable language do in that language only and uh, you have to fill the form uh, this cost 150 euro per participant so make sure you check and uh, uh, I can see here there is two date of upcoming dates for Dutch uh, A2 B1 or A1 if you are comfortable you can join this or uh, in November there is few like uh, I mean five six I would say uh, in English and also does so if you are watching now and if you want to register so I think you will get um, dates in November I had registered in July and I got uh, um, the workshop date uh, 14 September so yeah you will not get very near huh? it, you have to wait two three months it depends there is a brochure for this uh, um, Participatsi Faklaring. I hope I'm pro pronunciation is correct. And there is all about this uh, workshop. You can read it. Also the program schedules and also content. So yeah, that's about it. So I think um, I'm gonna have my lunch and uh, I should see you. Maybe uh, I'm not sure I will get uh, any break or not. I'm not sure. But uh, I will update you. Yeah, I will keep you posted for now so far so good it's going good and um, make sure you can keep uh, one notebook and pencil so that you can keep on writing um, for yourself if you have anybody who have uh, joined this or attend this um, workshop recently please do, do let me know how it goes for you uh, I would love to know your experience let me fin finish all my work and um, I shall catch you later. So finally I'm done with my workshop. It's now 3 p.m. Five minutes before we wrap up everything yeah I would say it was really nice and uh, it's like uh, we are discussing uh, very in person everybody will get a chance and uh, they will ask for your feedback how how did you like the um, this workshop so overall I really like it they said uh, they will send um, a certificate a participation statement certificate a one uh, you can keep it and another one there is form or something you have to fill up and send it to Khamente. so yeah I need to wait uh, for a few days maybe this week or um, or maybe next week I can get so yeah overall it was good but you have to be on camera all the time you have to be active all the time they can ask anything and um, at the last uh, she said to me some questions there was uh, like a ppt presentation i mean the question was for me uh, it was in dutch but uh, i'm saying in english uh, is is there allowed any 
any married woman can abort their baby without permission of husband so um, there was question for everyone but uh, uh, anyone can discuss and any can share their opinion uh, at the last there is a q and a session so she had she picked some question and she asked related to uh, politics related to religion culture and you know the theme uh, what is gonna be about so yeah overall it was good uh, it, i'm free now i can do rest of things uh, if you haven't signed up for this one maybe you can check you are eligible or not uh, the dates are not very nearby so maybe it will take uh, two or three months so make sure you register as soon as possible if you wish to so finally i'm done with uh, uh, participation statement or participatsi for clarin it was long waiting i would say so yeah i hope uh, you have got some idea i mean i was whole time i was on the on the laptop and in the meeting so i couldn't record everything and and screen sharing was also not allowed so i'm just sharing my opinion my thoughts and my experience how it went uh, it was a bit hectic um, you have to be presentable all the time uh, if you need uh, any kind of information or if you want uh, any dedicated video about this participatsi for clarin uh, what is all about how to register and um, any information you want to know uh, you can leave a comment and i will try to make a separate video how to uh, what is all about to why you have to do and you know there is so much information actually but if i read everything it will take a while i will put the link so you can check out so yeah that's all for my side i hope you have a great day uh, bye bye take care